TuneLive is a MIDI plugin that simplifies the process of automating Antares Auto-Tune real-time advanced with Ableton Live. TuneLive's interface shows the exact values of Auto-Tune, making the process of programming automation much faster than using the MIDI CC values. In addition to this, TuneLive offers an even faster way to program your Auto-Tune changes by using presets. All of TuneLive's parameters can be saved as a preset, and the preset selection can be automated. This will change all of the parameters simultaneously with a single automation lane. In this video, we will show you how to use TuneLive and how to route MIDI controls to AutoTune Real-Time Advanced. When you download TuneLive, you'll get a zip file that contains TuneLive and the manual. It can be used from anywhere on your hard drive, so place it in whatever folder is best for you. In your playback session, create a new MIDI track. Call it TuneLive. Drag TuneLive onto it. Once TuneLive is in the playback session, you can collect all and save the project. This will make it so you can move the session to another computer and TuneLive will go with it. All the MIDI CC controllable parameters of AutoTune are on the main interface of TuneLive. The values of each parameter in TuneLive match the values of AutoTune parameters exactly. You can automate these parameters on Live's timeline or in a clip. You will see the same values that are on the interface in the automation lane. For this demonstration, we won't be automating the parameters individually. Instead, we will use TuneLive's presets. We'll save a preset for each song. Then automate the preset menu to change preset at the start of each song. To make a preset, start by setting TuneLive's parameters to the desired values. After that, select an empty preset from the preset menu. The presets are numbered and named. If there is no name next to the number, the preset is empty. Type a name for the preset here. Then click Save. This will save the current parameter values as a preset. You can tell a preset is saved when the name of the preset appears in the preset menu. If the values are changed after the preset is saved, this warning will appear. This means the selected preset does not match the parameter values. Be careful with this. Clicking Save again will overwrite the selected preset. Switch to the next empty preset and repeat the process. Do this for each song. Once you've made all your presets, open the automation lane for the preset menu. Although the presets are named in Tune Live, the names don't appear in the automation lane. The automation of the preset menu is done by number. Move the playhead to the end of the arrangement. Now, when we write the automation, we can see the preset name change in Tune Live. Put a point that changes the preset at each song marker. The song markers in this session were created for setlist to use. This makes it so whenever a song is played from setlist, the presets of Tune Live will change. This is the fastest way to program AutoTune changes for your show. With this method, all the parameters of AutoTune can change simultaneously, and you only have to program a single lane of automation. Whenever Tune Live's parameters change, a MIDI CC message is sent out of the plugin. These MIDI messages get sent to the MIDI output of the track in Live. We will set this output to go to the IAC driver. For IAC driver to appear as a MIDI output, track needs to be turned on for the output IAC MIDI port in the MIDI preferences. If you don't see the IAC driver in the MIDI preferences at all, then you'll need to turn it on in the audio MIDI setup application. Now, we will select the MIDI input device for console. Click the Settings button in the bottom left corner of console. Then go to the MIDI tab. 
Under Device, there is a menu of all the available MIDI ports. Select IAC Driver Bus 1. Now we need to check that the MIDI settings are the same for Tune Live and Auto-Tune. Go to the Auto-Tune plugin. Click the cog icon in the top right corner and open the Preferences. Then click MIDI Control. This page will show the MIDI channel and CC numbers that Auto-Tune listens to. We'll leave the CC numbers alone, but we'll set the MIDI channel to 16. MIDI channels 1 to 15 can be used for other plugins that may need to receive MIDI. Now go to Tune Live. Click the MIDI Settings button. In this menu, you can change the CC numbers that are associated with each parameter. Make sure that the CC numbers in this window are the same as the CC numbers in Auto-Tune. To make it easy to check, Tune Live's MIDI Settings menu mimics the Auto-Tune MIDI Control menu. The final step is to make Tune Live's MIDI output send to channel 16. Go to the track that Tune Live is on. Under the MIDI port, you can select the MIDI channel. Change that to channel 16. Now the auto-tune for your show is programmed and fully functional. Let's do a test. 